show you how to make a creamy pasta sauce. The surprise star ingredient of this is cantaloupe. In this recipe, you need three tablespoons of butter, about four ounces of bacon or pancetta. Fun fact, when you cut bacon or pancetta into about quarter inch wide strips, it's called a lardon. This is great cut for sauces. You're gonna need a quarter cup minced onion or shallot, three cups diced cantaloupe, little over a tablespoon of herbs. We are using thyme and sage. A half cup of heavy cream. A half cup of Parmigiano Reggiano, finely grated. And as always, you'll want some salt and pepper um, to season along the way. You want to let your pan sit here empty for a minute or two to get nice and hot. That'll melt everything evenly and keep things frying nicely. Pan's hot now. I'm going to start with melting one tablespoon of butter into the pan. Once the butter is melted and sizzling, you want to add your baking pieces. At this point, I'm going to turn the temperature down to low to cook this nice and slow and render out all of the delicious fat into our dish. The term lardon comes from a French cooking technique called larding where if you were braising a leaner cut of meat, French cooks would cut their strips of bacon like this and then string them up and tie them around the other cut of meat so that everything would remain juicy and moist. So I think the bacon is pretty much rendered. You'll see here, most of the fat is gone and we're just left with the meat and it's getting a little brown around the edges. Now it's time to add our minced onion. The onion's just gonna cook for a minute or two. You want the pieces to turn translucent and soften. Now's a good time to add a little bit of salt to the dish. This will help everything break down. You don't wanna add too much right now because this sauce is going to reduce and you don't want it to be too salty in the end. The onion is softened, so I'm going to add our remaining two tablespoons of butter. Once that's melted, we're going to add the cantaloupe. You want all of the pieces to be the same size so everything cooks at the same rate. We used half inch chunks in here. This will make the sauce take a long enough time to break down and develop, but not too long that you end up with burnt bits. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. This will help the cantaloupe break down and form a nice, rich sauce. You can help it along by smushing the pieces with the back of your spoon a little bit. The process of breaking down the cantaloupe is non-linear. It's going to seem for a while that nothing is happening, and then within a couple minutes at the end, you're going to have a sauce. Similar to making homemade applesauce in that way. At this point, it's pretty saucy. It's been about 25 minutes. This time is going to vary depending on the heat of your pan. Um, how big and how ripe the cantaloupe chunks are. It's now time to add our herbs and our cream. You want to simmer this until the cream has reduced by about half and you have a nice thick sauce. getting 
close to being thick enough, so I'm gonna add the cheese. You wanna add the cheese before you adjust for salt and pepper because Parmesan is a pretty salty cheese, and so it's going to adjust the salt content of the dish without adding any salt directly. If you use a microplane to grate your cheese, you're gonna to wanna to make sure to pack it down tightly in your measuring cup because that form of grating leaves a lot of air and fluff between the cheese pieces, which creates a larger volume. This is smelling really good. I'm gonna taste it to check the seasoning levels. Definitely needs pepper. We haven't added any yet to date and it's gonna need a little bit more salt. sauce is done. When making pasta sauces, you want them to be a little bit thick because you are going to add pasta water to it. Even if it's not a little bit thick at the end, you still want to add the pasta water. You should always finish cooking pasta in your sauce. It'll add some richness to it and adding the starchy pasta water will help everything cling to the noodles and create a silky smooth sauce. It really makes a big difference and I encourage you all to do this at home. So I know cantaloupe is a weird choice for a pasta sauce, but this makes a surprisingly rich, savory sauce that you're gonna love eating. I hope you enjoy and try this recipe.